Hello everyone, this is Thor Young with Bear Bull Traders, and I'd like to do a recap for you on my trades today. I had uh, three stocks in my watch list today, actually watching Uber, MU, and AMRN. Only ended up trading AMRN and MU before I hit my goal, so I'm going to be done for the day. Um, also happens to be my uh, anniversary with my uh, wife today, so 13 years married, so pretty excited about that. So we're going to go out and get our uh, celebration on. So um, anyway, um, I'll go ahead and start off. Let me go back and uh, show you what we were up to with AMRN today. Um, AMRN actually ended up being really weak today, um, but when I was looking at it in the morning, um, it kind of was ascending. So when I pulled some levels, I was really looking at this $26 level, and I actually thought it might be good for a breakup uh, just based upon the way the level 2 looked and all of the uh, price action. Uh, so I, I played this one uh, pretty easy, um, just like a one minute ORB basically. I let it pull down to about the nine moving average. There were some large bidders there. As soon as the volume came in, I went ahead and took a position and I got some nice partials all the way up. Took about a thousand shares and it uh, sprung up nicely. Took about 500 of those all the way to 26. So about 50 cents on 500 shares. So pretty good way to uh, Start the day plus intermittent partials over 300 bucks on that trade. Um, really, really nice, pretty easy. Stopped out a little bit left that I was holding in case it broke up, uh, but it didn't. And so I stopped out and break even. And now you see why that rule is such a critical rule, especially since when you're trading the open, um, if it comes back to your break even, better to stop out and see what it's going to do. So luckily with that trade, um, I was pretty much right at my uh, daily goal and everything was looking pretty good. So I only wanted one more trade. So um, I sat around and really took my time with it. And um, the trade I was looking at here is on MU. So if you look at MU, which looks like it might come back down and stop me out for the remainder of its shares, um, if it loses 53.40 here, but I think this 53.40 here might be the level. So what we're looking at here is MU had a, um, has some pretty decent news. They had an analyst upgrade, so that's why MU made it to my chart. Um, I only trade stocks that have a known catalyst, something going on specifically. Oh, yeah, look at it bounce off of that level. So these levels uh, just work out so great. Now, I want these levels here that I drew, um, the majority of them were pre-market except for this one right here at uh, 53.40. So what happened was, and um, I, is MU had a lot of strength. I was playing AMRN here, and then I came and looked at it. And at this point, at 940, there was nothing I could do with MU. Um, there was really no indication of where it was going to go or what it was going to do. Although the bid still looked pretty good for a sell up. Um, so I was thinking it looked pretty decent. So um, MU here uh, came up here, and it found a high at 53.42. And so I was just waiting to see if it was going to do a continuation up. So MU um, kind of was working its way back towards 53.40, and you can see here it bounced off of VWAP a couple times. It was really holding uh, the moving averages quite nicely, and with the way the price action looked, I, I thought it could have been strong enough to go. So it was really, again, just kind of looking for that really good moment, and I actually really liked um, right about here. Uh, normally I would have liked my entry a little bit closer, but the way this looked and the ask, it really looked like it was about to launch. So I went ahead and took a long on it, and I was going to stop out if I lost the 20 moving average here. So not too difficult of a trade, 53.34 to 53.20. Three, it's about 10 cent risk. So again, I can go in 1,000 shares again on this one. Um, and then it had a nice pop up to 53.40. So I threw a, a market as we claimed 53.40, got a split partial there. Market order um, split fill there as we broke 53.50. And then I took some intentional uh, PL trades on the way up to 53.60. Um, once again, that's a, that's 30 cents there. Um, um, it took a full 500 shares, all right, from 33 all the way up to 60. So that's nice 30 cents on those 500 shares plus some intermittent partialing. And now I'm holding about 20%, especially since I'm about, I'm not quite double PL now, but almost. So, and I really want to see this 53.40 uh, level here. If you were, uh, actually looks like it could be holding, which it also coincides with the 20 on the moving average, which is why I was not worried about holding some shares here. If it goes through, I'll go ahead and get out, obviously. No big deal. We'll just break even on what's less, but this could be a nice setup point, um, for it to move up. And if it claims a new high, then it, it should be pretty well in this position for the rest of the day. Um, I, I might be, it might be able to an all day holder. MU can get into some all day hold trends where it will trend up the entire day. So it's just a, Hoping it doesn't break back down. We do have some large bidders that are asking for the price to come down for them to get filled. Um, so we'll, we'll see if the asks oblige them or if they force them to come up. Uh, but anyway, that is my trades today. Um, two relatively easy trades. Um, AMRN, a quick grab and go, and then MU, just an ascending pattern waiting for the wedge to break. 
So I hope everyone enjoyed my trades today. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Keep it green.